I'm Marian Nessel. I'm a professor of nutrition, food studies, and public health emerita at New York University, where I've been for a long time, but I retired in 2017. I was an undergraduate science major because I wanted to know how bodies worked. So I took courses in zoology and botany and uh, physiology and all of those things, and later became interested in molecular biology, did my doctorate in molecular biology, and then when on my first teaching job, I was handed a nutrition course to teach and it was like falling in love and I've never looked back. Well, the most important experiment in my field is one that was done in 2019 at the National Institutes of Health in the United States by an investigator who put people who were in a locked metabolic ward on two different diets, one of them with entirely ultra-processed foods, and then the other diet was just regular processed foods. And the people who were in the study had no idea which diet they were eating. They liked both of them. But the results were astounding and extremely unexpected. The people who were eating ultra-processed diets ate 500 calories a day more than the people who were eating the other diet. Uh, this is the first time we've ever seen anything like this, and its implications are extraordinary. This is a real clue about what to do to prevent obesity, and that's to avoid ultra-processed foods. I guess the biggest challenge in my career was trying to figure out how to balance the work that I was doing with raising children. Uh, those are two full-time jobs, and there's not very much support in our society, or at least there wasn't at the time that I was starting my career. For women who had those two careers, I had to drop out of science and give up a lab science career because I just couldn't manage a family and uh, lab science at the same time. I just couldn't do it. There are women who could do it, but I was not one of them. I think what I didn't understand as a teenager was that you have a lot of years in which to figure out what to do, and that it isn't necessarily something that you have to worry about instantly. What you do have to do is to try to figure out what you like doing, and do as much as you can of what you like doing, one thing will lead to another and you will figure it out. And sometimes it will take a very long time and that's perfectly okay.